Hi, today I want to show you orthotic fabrication of splints to use with conservative management of trigger finger. Trigger finger is a common condition that presents to us. It's believed to be caused by inflammation and subsequent narrowing of the A1 pulley or uh, inflammation of the long finger flexes coursing through the pulleys, which cause pain, clicking, catching, and loss of motion of your fingers. The three splints that I want to show you today is I'm going to show you fabrication of the anti-trigger finger splint ring, the use of the oval eight splint, and using a weight training glove. This is how we make the ring splint for anti-triggering. Take a piece of plastic, I'm going to go on either side of the finger and then you make a little divot that goes around. So the splint on the pattern looks like this. Cut out looks like this. I'm now going to fabricate the splint. You take the plastic, put it on the finger, and then you stretch the ring around and then firm it down. You then have the little divot over here and you have someone bend about 20 degrees from full MP flexion. Once that's hardened, you take it off the finger. Take your piece of closed foam. You take your piece of closed foam. and you put it on the bottom of the divot and bring it up for comfort. Then when the person wears the splint, they can almost make a full fist and extend so they can do their functional activities, but they will not trigger. The other idea for nightwear is to take the oval eight splint and wear it upside down. So when you put it on upside down, it lets the DIP move and the MP move, but the PIP is held in one position so you will not fully flex and hence you don't trigger. Another idea is the weight training glove. The weight training glove is made so that there is padding in the area of the A1 pulley. So when you make a fist while wearing a weight training glove, you do not make a full fist. You lack again that 20 degrees approximately and hence you do not trigger. Hope this helps.